members who would like to welcome you in Karagandhi, the city that sends cosmonauts on orbit and welcomes them back on Earth. I would like to thank you very much for all your work and the contribution that you made to our common mission. It's of great importance. I'd like to wish you all the best. <laughs> Right now, I'd like to give the floor to Mr. Vidyarnikov. I would like to thank you very much for all the work that you completed on orbit for such a long time. And I would like to thank you for all your accomplishments and for successful landing. At the same time, I would like to say thank you to all ministries and departments who participated in the rescue operations. Everything went really great. Thank you. Right now, I think we can start with questions. I would like to ask you an unusual question. Do you believe in any superstitions or do you have any good signs? Do you keep your fingers crossed in your pocket before the launch, apples or something like that? Well, I think that our crew members did not have their fingers crossed in their pockets. But, of course, we were watching White Son of the Desert, famous Russian movie. And also, there is another sign, not for cosmonauts, but for pilots as well. Never use the word last. Use the word ultimate. Thank you. What is your strongest impression from the time you spent on board in all these months? What will you remember most of all? Well, the strongest impression was the look of Earth. Well, I would like Alexander to answer this question. First, we were planning to land on the 16th, that is today. And we were talking about that initially, but of course there was a possibility that we would stay on orbit a little bit longer due to the recent incident. However, we came back on Earth on time, on the 16th. That's why we're really happy. And the 
descent module in which you came back on Earth. Will you track its future, its life further? Well, to some extent, I would like to know what is going to happen with it, but I can't say it's our home right now. Still, I would like to know what's going to happen with it in the future. And last question. How did you feel in microgravity conditions, and how do you feel right now back on Earth? So maybe you feel like a baby who was just born when you came back on Earth? Okay. Well, Ron, first of all, welcome back. Let us know uh, how does it feel to be back, finally back on Earth after uh, several months being gone. It feels great. Uh, you know, it's been a very uh, challenging and long mission, and a very successful mission, and it's uh, it's good to uh, to get back here. It's uh, that was a, a very thrilling way to end a, a very productive and fun mission. So it's good to be back. You guys had a lot going on uh, during your mission. You had the last shuttle flight. Uh, you had quite a bit of robotics. Whenever you look back on it, what do you think that you're going to remember the most about your time up on board station? Well, I think you know one of the the special uh, aspects of our mission was that we were on board when we saw this transition from basically the construction phase to the utilization phase of the uh, International Space Station, and which meant the end of the uh, of the space shuttle program. So uh, you know that was a very bittersweet time for us, obviously. Um, but you know we did, uh, as the last shuttle was leaving, had this you know tremendous feeling of, of uh, accomplishment. As uh, you know, we saw all the work and saw this you know amazing complex that we uh, had constructed over the you know a couple of decades uh, of work by many many people from you know places all around the globe. Speaking of the globe, you did quite a bit of Earth observation while you're up there looking down on the planet. Kind of look back on what uh, what you'll take with you now that you're back here uh, on the planet. Well, I, th I think I'm going to take back uh, with me a little bit better understanding of geography. <laughs> so, you know, looking at the Earth every day, I got to got to really uh, know the place, if you will. And um, you know, I'm going to miss it. Uh, my my last pictures that I took um, were by, by coincidence. I just happened to be by the cupola and. As we were getting ready to leave, I saw the Bahamas go by. I said, ooh, I can't pass up this opportunity. So uh, I took some pictures of the Bahamas right before we uh, closed the hatch. So it's, uh, you know, we have a really beautiful planet, and I'm going to miss uh, looking at it from that vantage point. Now, coming back to Gate today, we uh, we talked to the control center in Houston, and they had a bit of some trouble hearing you guys uh, talk to them. But you guys could hear uh, mm -hmm. what Mission Control Moscow was saying to you. Talk a bit about, about that. Yeah, I mean, until after we landed, I didn't know that there really there was any, uh, you know, dropouts in com. I just thought it was a, a normal thing. So um, um, it, it seemed to be. I mean, I've only had one of these, uh, you know, reentries on a Soyuz in it, but it seemed to to be exactly uh, as as advertised uh, as expected. Yeah. So what's going to be the first thing you'll do once you get back to uh, back home to Houston? I'll hug my family. So. Well, welcome back. Thanks. Thanks, Josh. Appreciate it.
не полгода не было. Deputy Head of the State Commission, Expedition 28 was successfully completed. Dear Alexander Mikhailovich, Andrei Ivanovich, I would like to congratulate you on your successful mission, successful landing, and welcome back here, and all the best. Камеры, смотрите, автобус.